We're farming here about 30 years. We were into suckers and into um, sheep prior to getting into this business. But about four years ago we switched from suckers into bull to beef. This model suits what we have here. It suits what's available. It suits what um, with the raw material is here in Ireland today. A lot of region cows available. I've seen this, this type of business done in Holland and in Spain um, where they work on an all indoor system and we have brought some of them ideas back here and adapted to the Irish model um, to utilise grass better and to utilise what we have available here. Yeah, we buy a calf in generally a week to 10 days old. We buy them from local dairy farmers. When he comes in and he's vaccinated for IBR, PA3 and RSV, he's giving uh, a long-acting antibiotic, covers for the first 16, 18 days. And then he's introduced gradually to the, to the milk here. We keep them here in the shed till they're about 80 to 90 kilos. Um, we build them up to about a kilo of milk per day and then phase them down for the last uh, two or three weeks until they're 90 kilos and then put them on to once a day. Um, in the month of March, we generally put them out into feed over here on once a day to get them used to the outdoors and to get them used to eating grass. So they're there as they then for another two or three weeks and then put out in the bigger fields and still getting access to milk once a day. It just it reduces stress and it helps the process of getting their stomachs adjusted to, to eating grass as well, the grass-based diet. They always have access to meal, to our own home-made ration. Um, they get that through until they're four or five months old and they're able to handle the grass. We start rearing in December. December calves would get five, six months on grass. The March calves would get four and five months on grass. If we work on this December calves, December calves are on a ration until middle of May, access to that. Then from mid to May on, we'd cut them off ration and just all grass. They're on just a total grass size from the middle of May to the 1st of August. And then we reintroduce the, the meal to them again and try to get them prepared for coming into the sheds in October. So the transition period is less stressful on them and their stomachs are able to handle the diet. Uh, we try to get them to 300 kilos before they come into the sheds. So basically on the grass they're going from 100 kilos to 300 kilos on grass. They generally would be in the shed then for another 90 to 120 days before they're slaughtered. Um, our target weight is 500 to 550 kilos live weight, which is 250 to 280 kilo carcass, with a fat cover of 2 plus, and a confirmation score of um, O equals O plus. That's the most important thing about what we are here, is to get that fat cover right. And that's the hardest part of all the whole process. That's the hardest part. To get them to that level at the very young age, that's the key to the business. The animal will lay down the fat when they're older, naturally, much more so than will when they're younger. So the key is to get that fat level down when they're 13, 12, 13 months old. The hardest part I find in this process is the finishing process. So the key to that is that the diet is palatable for sure, it keeps the stomach right and important, but it needs to be very powerful, very concentrated. Our diet consists of maize silage, fodder beef, maize meal, barley, oats, straw, buffer, minerals. That's all mixed up together. But it is a powerful diet and I said that's the most important thing of the whole process is to get a very strong diet to make them off. Attention to detail is the key to it. They've got a very short lifespan here. The cattle are in the farm for 13 months and they need to put on an average of 1.2 kilos per day over that period, which is a tall order for a Frisian animal, you know. To do that, like, you need to be putting on 1.4 kilos in the finishing period. So you just can't let up on the performance through the lifetime. And that's the key to it. It's attention to detail and that every day they're here, they're, they're performing. There is potential to make money in this job and if we can improve on where we're at. Our next step is to start doing some calves in August. Do a batch in August, do a batch in October, and another batch in December. The thing I like about it is you have control over what you're doing here. You can control your costs. You can control the price that the animal is bought in at. The only thing that's the unknown base is the, um, the finishing price. But if you can produce a product here that supermarkets require, I don't see any limit to the numbers we can, we can put through the farm.